trying to make this talk a kind where everyone is, can understand what I'm talking about. And, uh, and we're going to talk about some very heady business. Um, but um, I think uh, I'd, I'd really like to introduce some of these grand topics to you and maybe in future meetings we can talk more about them and you can see, um, uh, um, you know, keep asking questions if you don't understand. Um, the universe where we live is a very, very special place. And um, if there were a few things slightly different from than the way they are, if the laws of physics were a little different, we just wouldn't exist. So it's almost like the universe is very finely tuned for our existence. See that, um... The Cabrac is a dark sky site, designated that way by the Scottish government, and um, this uh, means that uh, it is um, the skies here are basically fairly dark and free from light pollution. The point is that it is um, many miles away from any developed community. Conditions, but let me just. Uh, yeah. I think I think we are mad to stay up here. Oh, most people couldn't. A week and they would be running. Uh, even probably people that like the hills and things like that. The modern way of life, I don't think it, most people would find it difficult. Most people that stay here go out and about. We don't bother. But to me, I'm quite happy the way things are. once said it was the most remote community on mainland UK and it would be really sad to think that it was just destroyed from various people of different interests you know as the older people leave if no one comes into the house by I think it's 2050 we'll have hardly anyone except holiday homes if we're lucky I have a guest here, Miss Gordon. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Oh, it won't be that. Okay. Bye. I'll let get my donut kettle. <laughs> It's just, it's a sore sight to see the builders falling down in the houses and I think, I mean, it, they were all a thriving community and they were all looked after, like, I mean, but the uh, labor monitors not looked after anything, like, it's a shame to see, like,
it's a hard life too, like it's, it, it, I mean, your hours is for daylight to dark in a style. At the time of the lambing and calving and all that, you have to be in the go, like. what it was, you know that. It will never be what it was a hundred years ago. Even fifty years ago. That's gone. families I suppose just have been here, have their foundations here, have been here for a very long time and the sheets would be one. Um, but there's obviously less and less of that left nowadays. We're a bit of an outlier. So, I don't know how much longer that lasts for but currently we're still here. It gets a bit complicated because the people are all mostly all gone, but the memories still go. The memories are kind of rose tinted in some respects. You forget, you tend to forget the absolutely horrible, horrible days when the snow's blasting in your face and you can't see a damn thing, and you're freezing, soaking. You remember the nice days in the summer when the sun shines. And so, you're working in the hay fields. You remember the good days. <laughs> Same as everything else. To me, I can't imagine life anywhere else. It's been my home for so long and I've sort of grown into it. I feel as though I put down roots. I'm really well rooted in here now. It's not for everybody by any means because not everyone could accept the limitations. But if you're willing, this place has a lot to offer and I would like to think that in years to come there could still be someone here going on, carrying on and living and loving it like as I do. <laughs>